What, uh, tell me about some of the personalities. I'm sure you, you came across <laughs> quite a few real characters. Gotti, yeah. for example. Yeah. yeah, you know, I was friendly with John. You know, we weren't best of friends. I had with different crews and all of that. But I had my run-ins with him, you know, with, with Gotti. Socially, he was great. You know, I used to meet him in some clubs, you know, by chance or on purpose. And we'd have a drink and have fun. He was great. He was always had to be like the center of attention. He was the magnet, everybody, because the way he dressed yeah. and the way he carried himself. But, uh, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Business, very tough. Very, very tough. Because, you know, he had the attitude, I'm John Gotti and nobody's going to beat me. And so when you're in a deal with him, whether it be purposely or by chance, you had to know how to navigate your way through. So he thinks he got what he want, but actually you get what you want. Yeah. And yeah. I, I appreciate it because John... John doesn't know it, but he taught me that just in my having to deal with him, you know, and, and getting my way at the end. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can be headstrong or you can be wise and, yeah. you know, one, well, you one, know one, one gets you further. You get the credit, I'll take the money. Yeah. It's that way. <laughs> exactly. Who else, uh, what other mob figures were, your, were, uh, were particularly interesting to deal with? Well, you know, I enjoyed uh, 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 Tony Salerno, Fat yeah. Tony Salerno. He was a boss of the Genovese family. He was a character, you know, right out of central casting. But a uh, good guy. I liked him. I had a couple of, uh, you know, meetings with him and, and enjoyed him very much. In the gas business especially, you know, he, he knew I was making money. and I had a, He asked me for a couple of things, and I was able to help him. Um, Paul Castellano I met under not great circumstances. My first real run-in with a guy uh, was him. And uh, didn't, you know, he wasn't one of my favorite guys, let's put it that way. You know, Persico, obviously, I knew. I mean, I knew a lot of guys. I mean, I got around, you know. I knew the Chin, you know, fairly well. Chin Gigante, you know. He, he really was the most powerful guy on the street at that point in time. He really was. I mean, you know, he, he did his thing, you know, walking up and down Houston Street in the bathrobe and all of that. But very interesting. He didn't care who you were. He didn't care. You could be the boss of another fan. He didn't care. If he didn't want to meet you or talk to you, he wouldn't. And the fact that he met with me, you know, on a few occasions and, uh, and treated me that way was, was nice, you know. He respected my father a lot, too. My father was away, but he respected him. So, you know, so I met, you know, I met the good guys, the top guys at the time, and I met a lot of the other guys, you know, because you're in a gas business, everybody wanted a piece of it, everybody. So I was constantly sitting down and keeping people away and arguing, and it, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of work, but it was profitable, so you did the work. Right. 